Hi, so today I'm joined with Sergey, and today's topic is how to optimize better for all query fan out searches. So obviously it's moved away now from kind of a keyword kind of optimization to now being making certain you're trying to cover the whole topic, especially now that they're doing query fan out. So Sergey, how do you optimize better for all query fan out queries? I think you need to do analysis of uh, uh, query intent, uh, query frame, query intent. Uh, so you don't uh, start with the keywords. You start with uh, what, what kind of problem you're trying to solve for your end user of the content, and uh, then you build your content around it. So if you uh, build, a, if you if you write in a review, you need to explain what the product is, uh, how it helps with X Y Z, uh, how to use it. Uh, so all potential. Uh, fan out queries that might be uh, relevant to your specific customer. Is there any specific like attributes or predicates that you should be looking for to cover? Or is it literally trying to cover every single attribute and predicate to the main entity or the main topic of the page? I would say it's uh, the most important ones. Uh, so it's classic uh, semantic SEO career style uh, approach. Uh, so you analyze what's uh, the most relevant to uh, a specific product. Uh, you can do it by checking SRPs, uh, seeing what's ranking in uh, in Google. There are multiple tools that uh, that, that can help you with that. Uh, but uh, the challenge is uh, how precise you are with the, with your uh, approximation. What what entities, what uh, attributes are the most important ones, but uh, you should always start with one uh, thing that makes sense. And then you can kind of like, uh, as, as you move along uh, uh, with time, you can update it and see whatever works better. Yeah, so if you're trying to optimize better for the query fan out queries then, does the query fan out searches, let's say perplexity or chat GPT or Gemini or Claude, do they all vary with what kind of query fan out is shown on each LLM? Or are they all generally the same? I think they vary slightly. Uh, I think the uh, mechanism uh, behind uh, creating those uh, queries is similar. Uh, but uh, yeah, like if you uh, if you gonna optimize for the meaning, like what's the meaning behind uh, a specific query? Uh, you're gonna cross all of those uh, things for for every uh, LLM that's uh, that's on the market right now. Yeah, so obviously, if you're trying to expand for all the different queries, the um, is there a way of knowing which kind of queries show up? Is it like is the normally two? Is the five? Is it the more complex the kind of searches that the more query fan out queries would then be performed or not? Uh, yes, the more the more complex, the more. Um, ambiguous uh, the topic is, uh, uh, the more find out query uh, you're gonna have because uh, the engine uh, LLM doesn't understand what exactly you're trying to achieve. Uh, and uh, again, it all, it, it all depends on uh, 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 source context as well. Like if you if you have a history in your chat and it knows a lot about you and you, you're asking it, uh, depending on your source, con uh, on uh, uh, the context of, uh, on, on your context window, you're going to see a higher number of uh, fan out queries as well. So I'm presuming nowadays semantic SEO or longer form content is ranking better for the LLMs because it's covering more attributes and questions and facets and stuff like that of what it is. Is it? Are you finding that longer form content does better for ranking in LLMs or are you trying to be very concise and try and answer a specific query? Like what, what's working better nowadays? Uh, that's uh, that's a major problem, and that's that's what I had with my websites when uh, I had uh, huge articles uh, and they didn't rank. Uh, so the key is uh, to mention as uh, enough for uh, LLM or for Google to understand that you know the topic, so you cover just enough and not too much where you start drifting into uh, unrelated entities and unrelated topics uh, uh, so just you need to make sure how you know you need to figure out how to stay uh, in your lane so to speak like if you're gonna go a little bit uh, further down where you're not gonna cover enough uh, that's that's a negative signal uh, how to do it properly that's that's another question uh, it's difficult to figure out. Like we don't know uh, what kind of uh, logic uh, LLM LLM uses. Uh, I've been trying to kind of break it and figure out uh, how to create a content like that. But uh, uh, there are many different uh, theories on how to approach it. 
Yeah, so if anyone is watching this and you're looking to optimise for query fan out terms, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know what's working today or what you think might be working next week. It's important to try to always be elevating on the knowledge and stuff like that as things are progressing. So I'd love to hear your kind of comments in the comment section with what are you doing to optimise for query fan out terms. Thank you very much, Sergey. Thank you.